Her name was Goldie. She lived in the forest with her herd of pony friends. Okay, hang on, Nolan. Okay, baby fairies. All the baby fairies go out. Here, Jaden, have your horse. Do you want to do a horse? No? All, where's the other baby fairies? Sleeping? Okay. Oh. <laughs> He's such a peaceful baby fairy. Just dance around them. Soon the ponies were dancing in there among the baby fairies who swooped down to the fairy. Oh, horse fairy. Suddenly the baby fairies grew quiet and drifted to the ground.
and settled herself on the grass in front of the ponies. How do you do? said the fairy queen. Say it. Ava was too nervous to speak, but Goldie answered, Very well, thank you, your highness. Have you enjoyed your afternoon in my meadow with all my children? Say that, Frank. Have you enjoyed it's okay, honey. You can speak for her, Knowles. Okay. And you, and you have shown my baby fairies a wonderful time as well, said the fairy queen. By the way, rewarding your kindness, I would like to grant you, e grant you each one wish. Goldie's heart grew so big in her chest that she thought it might burst. Could this really be happening? Before she even knew, she had spoken, cried out, I wish I was a unicorn pegasus. <laughs> Ava's eyes grew wide. She looked at Goldie, then the fairy queen, and back at Goldie. Me too, me too, she whinnied. The fairy queen nodded, and fixing her gaze upon the the ponies, she waved her wand three times over their heads, whispering softly, As you wish, as you wish, as you wish. The air was suddenly filled with filled chimes and bells, and the musical laughter of all the fairy company. Goldie and Ava felt shivery all over them. There was a tickle between their shoulder blades and between their ears, and around them filled with sparkles, sparks and rainbows, as they knew wings and horns shimmered into existence. Hooray, Winnie Goldie, hooray, Ava joined in. They pranced in a circle, admiring one another's gossamer wings and curly horns. Your wings are too new to carry you. You must be give, it, give time to them strengthen. Er, you must be given time for them to strengthen. You will know you are ready to fly when your horns light up and begin to sparkle. Thank you, oh thank you, your majesty. Goldie and Ava happily gallop away to their new home on the meadow's edge. Later that night, as they lay sleeping in their cottage, Goldie heard big Just lay on the grass. footsteps in front of the door. Stop. Run into the forest, Jack! <laughs> later, um, <laughs> later that night, snuggled up with her friend, Goldie dreamed that a mean cow had returned. She flapped her wings and leaped from the bed, only to crash down hard on the cottage floor. Ava woke up at the sound. Are you all right? She began to suddenly... They didn't say it. Goldie, your horn, your horn. It's golden. <laughs> Sorry. Indeed, Goldie's horn had begun to glow and sparkle, throwing rainbow shimmers all around the dark room. Soon, her light was joined by Ava's <gasps> as her horn lit up and began to sparkle too. It's the lighting and sparkling. <laughs> Unable to wait a moment longer, they leapt through the cottage door and into the air. Fly away, unicorn pegasuses! Yay! Mean cow. Mean cow. Away they flew over the treetops at the tops of the forest edge, edges, at laughing and shouting. The sun was rising and the mean cow bellowed in.
the baby fairies. <laughs> go ahead, fairies. Go Bodie. Ready? And? Ready? And? Cody, go take a bow. Get ready to bow. Go ahead, Bodie. Hold hands with Jack. Okay, everybody, there's...